Ma'asim, Acts 9. And Pa'al, yet breathing out threatenings and slaughter against the Talmudim of Adonai, went unto the high priest, and desired of him Sepharim to Damascus, to the synagogues, that he found any of this way, whether they were men or women, he might bring them bound unto Yerushalayim. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven. And he fell to the earth, and heard a voice saying unto him, Pa'al, Pa'al, why do you persecute me? And he said, Who are you, Adonai? And Adonai said, I am Yahusha, whom you persecute. It is hard for you to kick against the pricks. And he, trembling and astonished, said, Adonai, what will you have me to do? And Adonai said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told you what you must do. And the men which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. And Pa'al arose from the earth, and when his eyes were opened, he saw no man but they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. And he was three days without sight, and neither did he eat nor drink. And there was a certain Talmudi at Damascus named Hanan Ya'u, and to him said Ya'u'a in a vision, Hanan Ya'u, and he said, Behold, I am here, Adonai. And Adonai said unto him, Arise and go into the street which is called Straight, and inquire in the house of Yahda, for one called Pa'al of Tarsus. For behold, he prays, and has seen in a vision a man named Hanan Ya'u coming in, and putting his hand on him, that he might receive his sight. Then Hanan Ya'u, rather, Hanan Ya'u answered, Adonai, I have heard by many of this man how much evil he has done to your Kodeshim at Yerushalayim. And here he has authority from the chief priests to bind all that call on your name. But Yahweh said unto him, Go your way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the other nations and kings and the children of Yashadael. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. And Hanan Ya'u went his way and entered into the house and putting his hands on him said, Brother Pa'al, Adonai, even Ya'usha, that appeared unto you in the way as you came, has sent me that you might receive your sight and be filled with the Ruach HaKadosh. And immediately there fell from his eyes as it had been scales, and he received sight forthwith, and arose, and was immersed. And when he had received food, he was straightened. Then was Pa'al certain days with the Talmudim, which were at Damascus. And straightway he preached Hamashiach in the synagogues, that he is the son of Elohim. But all that heard him were amazed and said, Is not this he that destroyed them, which called on this name in Yerushalayim, and came hither for that intent, that he might bring them bound unto the chief priests? But Pa'al increased the more in strength, and confounded the Yahudim, which dwelt at Damascus proving that there, this is very Hamashiach. And after that, many days were fulfilled. The Yahudim took counsel to kill him. But their laying await was known of Pa'al. And they watched the gates day and night to kill him. Then the Talmudim took him by night and let him down by the wall in a basket. And when Pa'al was come to Yerushalayim, 
he essayed to join himself to the Talmudim, but they were all afraid of him and believed not that he was a Talmudi. But Barnava took him and brought him to the apostles, Eth, and declared unto them how he had seen Eth Yahua in the way, and that he had spoken to him, and how he had preached boldly at Damascus in the name of Yahusha. And he was with them coming in and going out at Yerushalayim. And he spoke boldly in the name of Adonai Yahusha and disputed against the Yavanim, but they went about to slay him. Which when the brethren knew, they brought him down to Kekaria and sent him forth to Tarsus. Then had the called out assemblies rest throughout all Yaud and Galil and Shomoron and were edified and walking in the fear of Yahuwah and in the comfort of the Ruach HaKadesh were multiplied. And it came to pass, as Kepha passed throughout all quarters, he came down also to the Kodashim, which dwelt at Lod. And there he found a certain man named Aniak, which had kept his bed eight years and was sick of the palsy. And Kepha said unto him, Aniak, Yahusha HaMashiach, makes you whole. Eth, arise and make your bed. And he arose immediately, and all that dwelt at Lod. And Sharon saw him and turned to Yahua. Now there was at Yafo a certain Talmudi named Seviyah. This woman was full of good works and alms deeds which she did. And it came to pass in those days that she was sick and died, whom when they had washed, they laid her in an upper chamber. And for as much as Lod was nigh to Yafo, and the Talmudim had heard that Kepha was there, they sent unto him two men, desiring him that he would not delay to come to them. Then Kepha arose and went with them, when he was come, they brought him into the upper chamber, and all the widows stood by him weeping, eth and showing the coats and garments which Dorcas made while she was with them. But Kepha put them all forth, and kneeled down and prayed, and turning him to the body said, Sevaya, arise! And she opened her eyes. And when she saw Kepha, she sat up. And he gave her his hand and lifted her up. And when he had called the Kodashim and widows, presented her alive. And it was known throughout all Yafo, and many believed in Yahuwah. And it came to pass that he tarried many days in Yafo with one Shimon, a tanner.